Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Medieval. <clears throat> well, I got some things to explain. Some good and some bad. To start off, uh, well, you guys, you guys might be thinking, 20 minutes? Like, didn't you play the game for a little bit longer than that before? Well, yeah. See, there's going to be some inconsistencies because I had to restart the game because, well, I should probably start off by explaining this. You guys probably noticed that all the videos I put up so far, they had a very, like, icky murkiness to them, especially around the characters. Like, in I Want to Be the Chair and in this game, it's like around Fortescue, there's like that weird murky... Why was I not moving with the coffin? That was bullcrap. Like, that was seriously a bullcrap death, but you guys probably noticed that icky murkiness. Well, <clears throat> I tried multiple. See, I thought it was the. I thought there was a problem with the codec I was using, which is the MPEG-1 codec thing that comes with Bandicam. And I thought there. I thought it just like wasn't good or something. So I started trying various other codecs that came with it. And none of them really worked out for me because all of them gave me pretty severe bugs and I couldn't figure out how to fix them. And well, one of them I thought were I thought was working well. It's like one of them I thought was doing well, but after recording like a 40 minute video clip with it, I found that the whole video clip was just riddled with extreme sound errors and Graphical glitches, also stupid freeze up, but yeah. So, and also I saved, of course, so I basically lost like three levels of progress and had to restart the game as a result. But yeah. The good news is I figured out a fix and I feel really stupid after figuring it out. I just upped the. I upped the bit rate for the MPEG-1 codec from 5,000 up to 10,000, and I did a couple of small test recordings. I'm also saving in a higher format on Windows Movie Maker. I'm saving in Windows HD 960x720, I believe is what it's called. I'm not saving any higher than that because, see, it's a 4-3 aspect ratio setting, and if I... If I save anything in a 16.9 setting on Windows Movie Maker, it puts those big, ugly black bars on the left and right. Well, they're more like dark gray bars. But, yeah. Plus, as you guys will see, the quality looks absolutely fantastic like this. Like, it's so much better. At least I hope this video will turn out as good as the test videos. But, yeah. It's so so much better than what I was putting up before, and hopefully it'll be the same for I Wanna Kill the Guy. I Wanna Kill the Guy. I mean, I Wanna Be the Chair. Also, I'm being an idiot here, but yeah. Point in case, the quality should be much better from now on. It's about as good as I'm gonna be able to make it with Windows Movie Maker, let's just say that. I'm sure you guys will agree that this is, like, a lot better than before, though. So, I'm, I'm happy with it. Also, I turned down one of the internal resolutions for the EPSXE plugin. It's helped to eliminate those little random slowdowns and lags in the game little bit. Still some, but yeah. Anyway, this is where we use the skull key. Anyway, another thing. Um, of course, it, it still hasn't fixed the problem with the random freeze up, but yeah. I've decided that whenever it does that, I'm just gonna cut it out. Cause I'm sure you guys don't like to see a game constantly freezing for like five seconds. Every five. 
five or ten minutes or so. The only time I won't cut it out is if I'm like talking while it freezes, because then I wouldn't really be able to cut it without cutting off what I was saying, too. It also depends on what's going on when it freezes. What I mean is sometimes, it's like some games when it freezes like that, their music will keep going, or I don't know, it's like sometimes it, the audio keeps going, and if it's like a voice or something important being said in the audio in the game, I'll probably leave the freeze. Oh, you guys get it, I'm sure. And this will be the last video that I yap about technical difficulties, really. It will be. At least, at least on this game. But hopefully in general, too, because I'm content with this recording setup. I think the quality of this is going to be very nice. And I've mostly eliminated the lag problems on EPSXE, so... Everything should be fine and dandy from this point on. And conveniently, the chalice is right here. Yeah, I don't know if I said it already, but this is the only level I plan to do right now. Because I have a mind to finish up I Want to Be the Chair before continuing with this game. I'd really like to get that game done. I only decided to record this level right now so that I could explain the new setup or explain, like, you know, how I fixed everything and stuff. Also, we could have just jumped off of that cliff and onto the block and hopped onto the bridge and got onto the boss, because yes, this level has a boss, but coming over here anyway. Just for the sake of, whoa, doing everything that I can. I almost met the same fate as that zombie. There's gold that we don't even need. No, push it back this way. See, was there anything else I was going to say or anything else I needed to explain? I can't remember. I don't think so. Wait, you're still alive? stupid. Come on, get over here. This boss isn't hard. I'm just being retarded right now. Sounds like it's going to 
be a fun journey. Back to the Hall of Heroes.